Tahiti Maze requires the Cult Rally car. Supposed to be a successor to something else, I don't know. I'm out dragging an Evo in a Colt. Now this is a lot more compact than the other rally cars we've been using. So this should be even easier to flick about. A rare kind. Oh yes, very rare. Oh, that's a spin out. That's a spin out. Thanks for pushing me. Work well with Schumacher and Ferrari. With at Benetton and Ferrari. Oh, that's true. Yeah, GT5's license tests are a lot easier. And thanks to far improved wheel support, you you were actually allowed to customize a lot of stuff with the car during the license tests, like the brake brake balance, brake bias. Uh, traction control settings as well. It was so much. It was so much more customizable. There we go. No, what was that? Was horrible. No, no, not brake bias, ABS. That's what I meant. Also, Schumacher returning didn't pass hacking at 1999 Grand Prix. Well, then. Uh, GT3's license tests, some are way too difficult, especially with a wheel. That's a bleeding. What is this madness? So Irvine didn't win the championship. Oh man. Irvine was a great driver. It's just a shame. Had, it's just a shame. Irvine had some conflict with a couple of drivers because he was a fantastic driver. Yeah, it had aerodynamics so good it decided to take off. In which then the Mercedes was given the uh, the name the plane, I believe. Win was ten, second was six, and third was was five points. Yes, it was. Come in, Evo. This song absolutely blows. Go! We're being really fast in the game. I'm sure we're going to encounter all drive hits later on. I hate this song. Also, I hate penalties! You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do this. And hope for the best. He would have only scored six points. Oh, God, these penalties get on my nerves. Also, I wish the car would stay in control.
Here we go. You're not getting away from me. Again, that is a, a crying shame because he has got... S what in the hell? Excuse me, video game. I did not touch him. Go! God damn it, move it. About two, no, nearly two seconds ahead. Ha <laughs> ha, me good driver. I laugh at that compliment because it's, it doesn't exist. Me being a good driver is like is like me being a good cook. It doesn't exist. In a random town on island, there's a statue of a Ferrari horse which has Eddie Irvine, nineteen ninety nine F one champion. He would have been the only Irish driver to win the F one championship. Thank you for the host, Denny. How are you? So you burnt your food? Pretty much, yes. I guess you could say that. It was supposed to be gifted to Eddie when he won. So it just has a sort of sort of statue just stands there now. That's quite haunting if you think about it. Anyway, that took an unnecessary long time because why not? Which was sad, really, Daniel. Eddie joining Jaguar. Look at the Jag go. Jag, Mitsubishi, Colt. Hey, that's pretty much, that pretty much set him up for life. That 20 million a year set him up for life. He would get a couple of podiums. Considering that Jag's car was pretty shocking. All right, time to face the same car. Look at it, dies right in front of me. I did not do anything wrong. In reverse, yep, it's reverse time. You always have to leave some space. Not in my world. There was a talk of Eddie going to Jordan in 2003. That would be a blow, wouldn't it? To be fair, I think he dodged a bullet, Daniel, with that because Jordan had a horrible car. No, this is... Um This is against AI. There was never any multiplayer in GT4. Although it was planned, there was a beta disc of a thousand... There was a thousand players of a beta. 
of a disc. They would get sent a disc. It never came to fruition due to co due to time constraints. Also, due to the PS2's rather wacky adapter to allow such play, it never really worked. It never really would have worked anyway. Wow, I'm actually further ahead this time. Jump. There was split. There was split screen. I love split screen. Well, me and my mate used to play this a lot on split screen. Which is really something. Yeah, considering this is one of the few games, considering this is one of the few games on the PS4 to a support 1080i and B to be on a um, to be on um, on a dual layer disc I'm not surprised wouldn't put the money into the car yeah Jordan was always a bit budget limited Zero AI cars. When I started playing GT Sport. I need to get GT Sport. Problem, problem is, I've got mismatched hardware. So I've got Thrustmaster wheel with Fanatec pedals. And that never really worked. And that never works together. Not unless I had like... Um, I don't know what it's called. It's like a, it's like a special adapter to work with PS with the PS4. So you can have multiple hardware choices. It was a basher... Basher mod. Jordan gave F1 the gave him his F1 debut. Yeah. But again, you have to consider they were kind of cash strapped all the time. They had to work with what they had and what they. In the early years, yeah, they had a pretty damn... They had, they had a decent car. No, I swapped out for a T300. My TX... Uh, the TX, unfortunately, lasted one year. Before giving up the ghost. He didn't accept it. It would have been nice. It would have been nice for him to actually um, to retire with the team he started with. Yeah, they did. They did have some good. Jordan did have a good car sometimes, but half the time would either blow up, and some other time, sometimes it would blow up, and sometimes the suspension would die. At least on some of our later cars. I don't think he ever tested the car. He should have tested the car, really. Eddie was a was an excellent and highly adaptable driver. So I don't know why they wouldn't allow him to test the car. God, under and oversteer, Jesus. Earning signs with it.
They were using yeah, they were using Ford they were using Ford Cosworth engines. Oh yes, that's nice. Same that Minardi were using. Yeah, that is true actually. But I think Minardi had a different type had a different end had a different type of engine compared to Jordan. Come on out. He didn't know how the car was. Which again begs the question, why didn't Eddie just allow him to test the car? Alright, we are done with the bloody Tahiti maze. For the second time, we're done with it. All right, what do we win? What, when the engines started to explode? Oh! Oh, another legend! What a machine this was.